hi everyone and welcome back in this video we are going to talk about memory management in the previous video we talked about how recursion happens like what is a recursive function how it works now we are going to talk about memory allocations and memory management we should be aware about memory management because we are going to write code we should we should be aware about like how much space this function is going to uh, consume how many variables we are declaring how many dynamic allocation is going to happen to the code we are writing can we optimize it can we just do the same program in with the less complexity or uh, memory and time so it it comes as a part of uh, complexity in terms of memory like uh, how 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 many variables have you created in your program can we optimize it can we do the same code code block in Uh, by consuming less memory size okay so in prog in computer how this memory management happens if i talk about simple javascript v8 runtime engine we have we have these uh, stack and heap so when you are writing a code uh, then it actually stores the variables functions in the stack and heap these are not data structure these are some kind of a computer memory space where all the variables get allocated where the dynamic allocation of memory is happening so we have two things stack and heap you should understand about it so the allocation so in the stack the allocation is happening on the continuous block of memory we call it is a stack allocation memory because the allocation happen in a functional call stack so we talked about in the previous example recursive function recursive function function keeps calling itself right so in this particular example uh, if a function is calling itself in that case call stack will build a function same function is will call to itself so all these kind of allocation will happen in the in the stack okay and in the stack the important part is uh, whatever the variables whatever the memory it is allocating once the execution or once the function is returned that memory gets released okay a uh, stack is mainly used for allocating the memory to the variables and uh, the functions which we have created right similarly we have a heap heap is not same as the heap data structure it is just a memory space uh, in the heap the memory is allocated at the runtime okay by programmers okay in the stack how many uh, how many memory is going to be executed being consumed compiler already know but uh, for the heap it will happen at the run time like creation of object creation of object and call calling a function all that is happening at the run time so so in the heap uh, the allocation of memory is happening at the the run time execution okay so the, what is the key difference a stack the allocation and deallocation happens automatically uh, in the heap the deallocation of memory need to be done by programmer handling of heap frame is costlier for computer instead of if we compare it with the stack okay so you might sometimes you see stack overflow so memory issue always happens with the stack if you are just writing or recursively calling a function without base condition okay so we'll we'll take a look on to this example uh, this example is from speaker deck from deepu okay so this is a class and we have some function and we are creating the object in the of the class in the bottom so initially when you are actually writing this code then how the allocation is happening in the global frame of stack it will have these functions okay get percentage because we are not executing it so whenever the execution starts right so you can see this is execution start bonus percentage 10 and then you are actually start creating the object at line in the bottom you are creating the new employee so the object allocation will start happening in the heap then uh, okay it will go to the constructor and will set the parameters name salary and sales okay it will just update all these attributes now what we are calling is find apply bonus which is in the stack frame find apply bonus and what it is doing is it is find apply bonus is calling get bonus percentage you see this is the call stack where one function is calling another function so find apply bonus is calling this get bonus percentage so that will come on top of the state stack and then then first get bonus percentage will return some value that returned value will go to find apply bonus you see it is returning 500 that is returned that function is gone from the stack now we have find apply bonus it will also return 2500 based on the multiplication and it will also 
go away from the stack once the return is done right and your property has been updated in the object for name salary sales all the property has been updated even the bonus amount which is now 2500 so this is how this particular stack allocation is happening okay this is kind of same on most of the programming language or the compiler because stack and heap are something they are just a memory space in the computer okay uh, thanks everyone